Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to beautify my code and then push this on the GitHub repo. So let's get started. So first I'm going to visit the app.blade.zip file. So here there is a no, nothing to modify. Everything is fine. Let's close this one. And then Xeo syntax. So I copied this. So let's delete this one. We are not going to use this anymore resources zip so let's delete this right i made this one time and then let's go to this js components so first i'm going to go to this authentication component so this would be login and something more readable like this and code body this forum and something like this i'm just adding few spaces and then making this more readable right something like uh, this and then after the method we have a login method api slash login let's clear this out and then for the xeos we are getting this error so let's come with this one something went wrong here and then remove extra space from there clear message just this and looks fine right okay also make this something like this so add one more no not spare move this space and now it looks fine so just to close this one and go to this register one so at the top i'm going to also make this something like this here in the form i want to add a space here after that here i want to say let's say we remove this space it looks weird i can add space here turning the messages register method and remove this comment right okay and here i'm sending xeos request okay let's have this register nothing is there right so let's wrap this and clear the message and looks fine right so save this one close this one and just go to this errors 404 uh, not found error would be separate and body would be also a separate go back and here we need the router so let's make this router link Okay, and this should be also the router link and then I want to make this to home page to slash which is home page save this one and uh, let's remove this space this looks weird okay and then go to this about we are not using this about so let's delete this about page and then in the app.js so let's go to the top and here i'm in a space so let's make it a line more readable something like this and then this would be script i'm putting those script exporting this mm, this would be for the usage purposes so you can use this later on i'm not uh, removing this at that time because maybe you will use this in future what are the other ways so just to and you can use this to dispatch and in the logout i'm not consoling any of the error okay and then here i'm going to say catch and you can say something like this and log out this looks fine okay so this one closes dashboard and dashboard still identical stuff okay and just getting the details of this user mm -hmm -hmm. okay and something like this and this okay and you see this one add a space here 
method that now looks fine let's close this one go to this home and home page so same welcome to the welcome to the uh, home page welcome to the view welcome to the laravel and view js welcome to the laravel 10 and view js as app home page something like this so let's close this one go to this router so it's i think clean already you don't need to do anything just add space from between them and add this to the top this one oops i'm getting running into the errors ah no not the error is different about page yeah so in this case we are uh, remove this about page and let's uh, remove this about from here too oops let's save this one and our issue will be resolved yes resolved okay fine let's close this one go to this uh, store so it would be need more clean okay updating the state updating the token storing and remove this extra space authentication and then remove this console first authentication committing and this would be also for deletion and looks looks good to go close this one close this one router is done store is done app.js so it's also already done axios.js it's also done bootstrap.js you'll find this and everything is looks fine right so now our application is working perfectly so now let me give it a quick test i got this and go to this app.js here and remove add a negation here for this login yes and now it's appeared if i see it let's register a new user now let's register this yeah perfect let's go here i don't want to log in this because i don't have the password of this user so let me log in the default user here this login and yes he is logged in and just click on this and yes welcome to the home page and everything works perfect right Visit the home page dashboard log out and our application is working perfectly so it's almost completed so let me push this on the github and check the video size oh my god it's going bigger should i need to shoot this in the next one maybe but i'm going to do this here so just clear this out clear this and i'm going to say here is my application laravel view app and this one so let me remove the file from there so here this one is completed so let's uh, close this one and i'm going to say cmd here i want to open the cmd right and here i'm going to say get in it right so i want to create an empty initialized repository okay and here i'm going to say get add i want to add all of the stuff into this github repository and after that i want to commit something commit hyphen m and here uh, you can say uh, view js and laravel no, and laravel and view js have completed till uh, authentication mm, mm, till are uh, um, you can learn uh, laravel and view js app is completed till last video i can say something like this last video okay something like this and here i'm going to say get push this on this so before this i need to add a origin so just go here and open this github i'm going to create um 
create a new github repository in my github so you can get multiple codes from this one my here and i'm going to say laravel laravel and view js let's say something laravel and view js authentication basic app and this um, this repository contain the source code source code of Laravel and Vue.js app which we which I created in live coding series if you want to watch the series get the a link from readme or visit uh, youtube.com slash at laravel lover slash playlist and then you will find that um, uh, what's the playlist name okay and i'm going to add this make this public so anyone can access this and then i'm going to add a readme just click on this repository okay this will be created in a minute and yes it's created and by default it says a main branch i'm going to copy this here just go back and i'm going to say that git remote add origin and i'm going to add origin which i copied right now just paste this out it's added and then i'm going to say that uh, git uh, git branch hyphen b and what would be branch main branch oh my god i think i did something wrong git checkout git checkout hyphen b to main write this one now i'm switch to the main branch and here i want to say git push hyphen u i think hyphen u and then origin would be main okay so it's going to push our code on the server and rejected so i'm going to add a force flag maybe it's rejecting due to just read me file so force flag will push this code forcefully to the github repository and it will be done so let's take eye on this so this will be start in a minute right and yes it's come it's pushed this code on the server so let's get refresh and check that is this repository contain the source code and yes now this have only one repository uh, one branch which contain this overall source code so i'll also update this readme uh, behind the scene so you can get this source code from this uh, repository from this one so thank you so much guys for watching this full series and if you uh, like this series or it added some values into your career so share your feedback on this uh, very first video or on this last video so it will help the others to uh, help the others to choose the series which they are looking for right so it's you know, if this is uh, worthy so then they will choose this by following the comments so thank you so much again guys for watching the full course and also share your opinion about what else you want to learn from this channel right so i'll shoot more course more advanced courses with the laravel and vue.js so i'll see you guys in the next one and take care bye bye